Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and today I'm bringing you iRiffPort. Uh, it's basically a giant guitar cable for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and it is made by Pocket Lab Works. Um, they basically manufacture this so that you can just plug and play your guitar with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch wherever you want. It's pretty cool. It's a long cable. It says here, six foot cable, and uh, it's got a 30 pin dock connector on one side, quarter inch instrument plug on the other side, and it's got a line output and a headphone output. So you're, you got your headphone output over here, and then you have a, a line level output on this side, so you can plug it into your favorite recording program or interface. This is the packaging that I got it in. Your packaging may look different from this because this is not the official retail packaging as I was told. And so on this side you see we just have, let me see, we just have uh, basically what it's capable of working with, the logo, the description, digital audio guitar connection for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. We have the same thing on the other side. And here's your favorite part, which is all this beautiful FCC information you guys love to read, right? And on the back, we have uh, basically the same thing, just a short description of uh, what everything does on here. Uh, what the 30-pin uh, connector, quarter-inch plug, line-level audio output, 3.5 stereo headphones output. This is their website right here, pocketlabworks.com. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. And uh, these are actually two apps that the company makes right here. Pocket Amp and Pocket Amp GK. And so uh, one of these is for guitar, Pocket Amp. GK is basically a, uh, a, a Gallon Kruger amp on your iPhone or iPad. And what's great about these two apps here is they're both uh, universal. So you don't have to buy one for your iPod and then one for your iPad. Uh, so that's pretty cool, it's pretty unique. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. Cut this plastic right here with my nail. Ow. And all right, so. Right here, this is the inside of the box, you guys. It's just a little quick start guide here we have. Let's check it out, what am I, Yoda here we have? Anyways, so it basically just tells you the quick start instructions. Connect it to your iDevice, connect a guitar, connect headphones, or you can connect it to powered speakers, an audio mixer, or recording equipment to record your performance here. So that's pretty nice. And so right here we have the actual unit itself and it comes nicely packaged in here feels really sturdy and it looks like we have a little sticker here pocket lab works you guys can see that there it says the new way to play that is their logo and this is a sticker i believe so i'm gonna have to throw that on something that's cool and let me just put this stuff back in here and so as you can see here we have on the front i riff port right there and uh, just some other FCC information. And right here on the back, you can see it says line out right there. And here we have the instrument cable and the headphone output. So it's cool because you can plug that into, you can plug this right into your guitar and you actually have the headphones close to you instead of having to be, you know, kind of uh, tethered uh, by your iPhone, I guess you would say. You, you can kind of have the headphones closer to you. All right, so this actually feels pretty sturdy, you guys. It feels like uh, like a regular guitar cable. I mean, I I play guitar for ten years, and you know this definitely feels very sturdy in comparison to some of the other guitar cables I have. So it feels like a sturdy product. It looks pretty cool. So let's jump right into setting it up. All right, guys. So we have our iRiff port right here. This is the iRiff port, like I was showing you, and then here we have our iPad and a guitar and so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up and get you up and running with this and this will bridge the link between said guitar and iPad right there it's pretty cool so what we're gonna do here is we're going to take the iRiff port and actually plug it into the iPad so I'm just gonna go move this over a little bit and we're gonna take this and just plug it right into the bottom right there just right into the 30 pin connector so we're gonna plug it in there just like that, have it plugged in, and then we're gonna take the other end here, and we are going to plug it into our guitar, obviously. We're gonna plug it in right there into the jack on the guitar. So we're just going to take this, stick it right in there. So basically, to get started, that's all you need to do. You have your iRiff port 30-pin connector back there plugged into the iPad, and then you have the quarter-inch jack plugged into your guitar. So let's set all this down here real quick. 
Now we're going to take a look at the iPad real quick. So we have this plugged in now. And we're going to pull open the iPad. Make sure we're on the home screen. And this will also work on, on the iPhone too, guys. So just keep that in mind. So we have our Pocket Amp app here. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And there's the screen for it. And so this is what you're going to see at first. Um, basically, you have your guitar cabs over here. And you have your, uh, you know, what you would be turning on the amp is your knobs basically over here in the in form of a, a little slider. And you can actually swipe left and right on the cabs to change out your cabs just like that. So um, you can get kind of different sounds. There's a, a metal cab and these are all kind of uh, supposed to be similar to other cabs that you might recognize just by looking at the uh, design here of what they look like. So you can kind of get a vi an idea of what they would sound like. So basically what we have here, okay, we have our gain, our treble, our mid, our bass, and our volume. And then we have some presets up here, clean, blues, rock, and metal. And you can kind of dial those into how you want the tone to sound. And this will switch between the different types of amp that you're going to play through. And then you also, up at the top here, you do have presets as well. And you can go in here and you can actually define presets. It's pretty neat, you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you a little more through this app here. So at the bottom, and sorry if this is hard to see, at the bottom we have an echo setting. And you actually have the ability to tap out the echo and you have delay, feedback, echo mix, room size, and reverb mix. So you can turn up your echo, you can turn up your reverb mix, you can turn down your room size, and you have your delay right there. And then we have right here, it says effects, it's got a little chain above it, and we have different effects that we can enable. Chorus, flanger, rotary, and tremolo. And those are all basically what you'd expect them to be, and they actually sound really, really well. Pocket Labworks did a great job making this app and it sounds tremendous. So basically that's all there is to it. Um, you have a little bit of options here in the setup. Uh, what you see flashing in red right there is it says that to always use feedback control with headphones on. And then you have a README and then you have an on and off button for feedback control. So that's really all there is to the amp. Um, well, I guess I should say app, but technically it is an amp. It's very easy to get started with this. Like I said, we're already up and running is you can actually load in songs. If you go to pick right here, it will open up my iTunes library and it will let me choose different songs out of here. So you can actually play along with different songs and then you click on the music. It'll give you the option to play it. It'll show album art for you there. You can play and skip tracks. So you can play along with your favorite music actually, which is pretty awesome. So all in all, this is a great app, you guys. It sounds great and it looks clean. It's got nice effects to it. It's got tons of settings. And also what's great, they do also have light versions of these apps as well that are available on the App Store for free. So just look up Pocket Amp Light, you guys, or GK Pocket Light. Um, GK Pocket is actually the base version of this amp. It's uh, modeled off a of Gallon Kruger base amps. And it's also by Pocket Lab Works, so go check that out, guys. I highly recommend iRiffPort. It's got a great sound to it. It's all digital as well. It goes into the digital input on your iPad, iPod, or iPhone. So go ahead and check it out, guys. Thanks again for watching. Um, please subscribe in this button right here. And our Twitter link is here. Our Facebook link is here. Hey, thank you again, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. And have a good day.